I'm super excited to have my friend here, Stacy Martino, with us. And um, we're going to be talking about today the self education industry and how it's booming and how, you know, the, I think the world is tired of trial and error. They're tired of the traditional path and they're looking for people that are in the field doing it and serving others, right? And so I think that's why self education is going to go from 325 million a day to a billion a day, according to Forbes. But I would love to hear your story, Stacey, about when self education came on your radar. Uh, and a little so, bit about who you are. And <laughs> let's talk a little bit about who you are too, as everybody can, can, can get to Yeah, know absolutely. You. Well, first of all, I'm Stacey Ordino. Thank you so much, Brian, for uh, having this chat with me today. My husband and I are the founders of relationshipdevelopment.org, where every day we help people and empower them to transform their relationships. And um, so, but where did this start? It's such a great full circle moment for this conversation. Because um, this year marks the 25th year for me. 25 years ago in 1995 is exactly the moment when this started for me. I was sitting on the couch in my apartment. Uh, I remember it was, a, it was one o'clock in the morning. I was in the middle of a pint of Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia, flipping through the channels. And all of a sudden I stumbled upon this very big guy with giant teeth talking about how amazing life could be. And I remember I stopped in my tracks because what he was saying, I was like, nobody talks like this. Like, life is not like that. What, what are you talking about? And thank goodness I paused. I couldn't stop watching him. Of course, that was Tony Robbins. And that was where my journey with Tony began 25 years ago. And it was in that moment where I listened, I listened. And then he said, the nine words that changed the trajectory of my life forever. He said, what if this is as good as it gets? And he went on to say other things and I actually don't remember what he said next because the silence in my head was deafening. There was a ringing in my ears. And then I heard in my own mind, if that's true, I don't know that I wanna go on with this. Hmm. And everything stopped. It was like my world was in slow motion. I'm sure he was still talking. He never stops much like me, but I heard nothing. And I came to a moment of like, I can't even believe I just said that. Something has to change. Mm. I refocused on him and his message. I devoured every word that he was saying. I remember grabbing a legal pad from my stack of work files that I had brought home from the office and a pencil and just started writing everything he was saying, writing as fast as I could. And then it popped up on the screen. If you want to order your personal power cassettes today, um, call this number. And of course I picked up my phone because back then this is what we did. And I called the number to follow the prompts to order um, my first course, which I listened to, I'm sure, 27, 35 times over and over and over because uh, much like I know you say in your story, I was like, where has this been? Like, how come I've been through life thinking I'm 20 something, like I've been through life and nobody has told me that people say these, like, this is phenomenal information. Like, you're teaching me how to live life, not just how to go to college, not just how to be an accountant, which I was at that time, not just how to like do things, but how to be, how to live life, how to be happy. I'm like, what the, where has this been? And I devoured everything. And of course that became the spark of my reading everything, listening to everything, devouring everything, self-education journey. And it changed the trajectory of my life and what would later become thousands of lives of people all over the world because of that moment because of that spark. Yeah, that's amazing. I think, I, I think the same thing happened to me, right? Like I didn't come up to, to Tony at first, but then eventually you find Tony pretty quick, right? Yeah. Like he's the best of the best, right? So I found Tony and then I did what Tony did. He's like, he's like, when, remember what when his story is, is he's consumed everything he could. Mm -hmm. Like, well, if that's what he did, I should probably do that too. You know? Amen. <laughs> so yeah. it sounds like your story is very similar. Um, so that's awesome. And um, what would you say has been the biggest needle mover for your, for your life, your business, um, in the personal development space, like in the self-education journey? Like, what would you say, like looking back, I know it's been, a, a bit, you've been on this journey for a while, you've been on this path. 
But what would you yeah. say to someone who's maybe just started on the path, right, recently? Like, what would you say the biggest needle, needle movers are on self-education that you would say, okay, like, if I looking back, I wish I would have done this or that faster rather than like later, rather than later. Yeah. It's hysterical because I said it in my story and you just said it in your story. The number one needle mover is the tool that Tony Robbins taught me 25 years ago and you as well. Model who's doing it already. Model who's doing it already. Don't try to figure it out on your own. Devour everything and model the people that are already getting the results that you want. If there's a result that you want, you don't have it, somebody else does. Watch them. Devour everything they have. Figure out what, do they have a process? Have they taught lots of other people how to do it? Are lots of other people getting success with their process? Get in there, devour their process. Model someone who's already done it. Um, because that one thing alone, just having that fundamental belief, mm. if you have that fundamental belief when you walk through life, mm -hmm. then the moment you hit a kerfuffle or a problem, mm -hmm. instead of being like, oh man, really? Maybe this isn't for me. You'll have a different blueprint in your mind, which is like, ooh, who has already solved this and how mm -hmm. can I reach out to them? That is a different life trajectory completely. That's a great question. I love that. And I think that's why the self-education industry is growing so much, right? Like people are waking up to just what you just said, right? Yep. So it's like the traditional path is great. It had its time and it had its place. Trial and error, like who wants to do that? But what you just said is brilliant, which is find someone who has specialized knowledge. And that could be, you know, you could have specialized knowledge. You who is listening to it right now, not yes. necessarily you, but like, I think that's the, the opportunity here to take advantage of self-education industry is twofold, right? Looking out for people that are specialized in what they do, right? Like you're specialized in relationships. Like you're the best in the world when it comes to relationships and you have the track record to prove it, right? So that's not, we're, we're coming from a lot of, uh, of proof. That's and correct. the market is also looking for that same, um, those same people, right? They're looking for, okay, who's the best in the world at this thing? And who's the best world at yeah. that thing? And who's the best world at that thing? So I love what you said because that's the right question to be thinking. And my goal through all of this is to help people ask that question. Yeah. You nailed it on the head. Now, on your journey, you, um, you have a pretty amazing story. Like I love, you know, you're in your husband's story. And I would love to know when the moment was for you when you realized that you have something that's so good that other people need it, right? Like, and I think this is a belief, I talk about this a lot, where it, you can have a belief, we have options, right? We have a choice. We can have this belief that like nobody wants what we have to offer, or we can have a belief that everybody desperately needs it. And I believe you have that same belief because of your story. So I'd love to hear a little bit about your story, uh, to maybe help other people to, to adopt that belief, because I believe that selling is easy when we have a belief like that. Oh, Amen. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. it's interesting. And I know, you know, our story is that um, my marriage was hanging by a thread and I was the one who needed to figure out, I got to save this. And Paul didn't want to have anything to do with that. And I figured it out on my own, largely because I had this personal development background to try to figure out how to save my relationship and devoured everything that there was. Um, uh, but what happened was years later, after I single-handedly saved my own marriage and I was still like in tax doing my own thing, um, but years later, and people would come to me like, oh, I know you had trouble in your relationship and you fixed it. Can you tell me like what I might do? And so I was kind of um, that advisor, if you knew me kind of person, people always came to me about that, but it never dawned on, like, I never want, like, I'm not butting my nose in anybody else's marriage. I did this for me. Everybody's good. Like I'm not in your business. And I was just going on my life's journey. Um, but it was actually Paul who came to me one night. It was 2009 in the middle of a very big financial crisis for the world and for our family personally. Um, and he had just dropped our son Jake off at kindergarten that day. And as Jake was getting out of the car, he pretty much asked Paul, he's like, hey, my buddy's uh, parent said that they're not going to be living in the same house anymore. And he's upset because he feels like he's not going to see his daddy. What does that mean, daddy? And are you going to do that? 
And so he was basically asking Paul, what does it mean when somebody's getting a divorce? Mm -hmm. And it hit Paul like a ton of bricks. Of course, he explained to Jake what that means and explained to him that he will never, ever, ever have to live through that because we've done the work and mommy and daddy will promise to always be together. But driving home after he dropped Jake off, the weight of that, like this child was the same age as his son. And so for Paul to drive home and think, I know those parents, I see the dynamic. It's something that Stacy and I have solved. We could have done something and maybe those kids would be sleeping down the hall from two parents tonight mm -hmm. if we had done something. Mm -hmm. He started to feel sick. Mm -hmm. And the, he came home to me and said, Stacy, I love you with my whole heart and I know things are tough for us right now financially, but we have to do something. Mm -hmm. As a man, I cannot watch people go down when I know I could have done something. It's like watching somebody walk towards an open manhole cover mm -hmm. And just not saying anything. I, I can't do this. There are children in those homes. We have to do something. Mm -hmm. And I sat there listening to him and my jaw was on the floor. I, I, I was like, babe, this like is not a great time. We're going to lose our house if we don't do something to turn our, our IT company around. Like we have real things that are going on. And uh, but my husband's a very, very passionate man. And as much as I was terrified, I'm like, I don't know anything about business. I don't know anything about teaching other people. I don't like, I can only help so many people. I work 60 hours a week as a public accountant. You're traveling as an IT consultant. Like we're not, we are working so much. Like, when are we going to do this? Uh, I can't just quit my job. And, but at the end of the day, he's like, well, Stacey, if we don't do something, who's going to take a stand for these kids? Mm. That's not their fault. You were that kid. I was that kid. Who's going to take a stand for these kids? Mm. And it was at that moment that, as you say, Brian, I used to think like, oh, you know, they'll figure it out. I figured it out. I didn't just figure it out, though. I mean, like I devoted myself in a way that mm, not everybody will probably ever do, but yeah. um I, I, as much as I was afraid because I was making it about me mm. and what I was afraid of, if I got involved in doing that, mm. my husband's perspective was, yeah, but what about the people that will never hear this solution? Mm. All the families that are breaking and we could have done something. Mm. And it was that flip mm. that I said, okay, I'm in, what are we going to do? And that it was like the second right trajectory changing moment where it became not about us, but about this mission, which is what we do now. We have a mission driven organization to make sure that we get these solutions into the hands of every single family on the planet who desires it so that everybody is empowered to do what we did. Now we decided to take two years and we didn't know it would take two years, but we took two years. And while we were working and have, we had, uh, you know, two kids at that point and trying to hustle and, and recover financially, we also started to figure out what was everything that we did? How did we do it? What's out there that people are being told to do that absolutely backfires that we want to make sure people know not to do because it can end a marriage. How would we teach it? How would we break it down? And what order would we do it? And we spent two years developing and testing what is now our eight step relationship transformation system that can be used by anybody to transform any relationship when only one person is the one doing the work, which was my journey. It was just me who single handedly saved my relationship and couples relationship work wasn't an option for me because Paul wasn't interested. So how could we empower? Cause I knew this one family and I knew that the wife had come to me and asked a question, but the husband didn't want to talk about it, which is pretty much, Everybody on the planet, one person might be interested in growth work and the other person's like, I don't want to do it. So how can we empower one person to transform their relationship, their family? And we cracked the code and figured it out. And so it's our moral obligation to get it to as many people as we possibly can. Yeah, I love that. So you devoured yourself in the subject, right? And then you created your own frameworks, your own process to make sure it's bulletproof. Right. Yep. And that took time. Right. And I think people need to know that too. Like it's not, it's not an overnight thing, right? You took the time to pour yourself into the market 
understand what was already going on in the market. That's yeah. a key. That's a key. It's a key to success. And then also you wanted to make sure that the advice that you were giving was bulletproof. Like it was the best in the world. Like you want, and I think what's really important here is that your driver was not the money. The, the impact was the driver, right? Now you need money to make things go faster, right? Like yeah. we need to make money. Like we need, in order to reach more people, we need the resources. That's why, you know, nonprofits and charities raise money, right? But your heart on it was, you know, marriages and families and children, like both yeah. you and Paul, like you guys were in alignment with your heart was right, right? So um, my question to you is, as you're developing out your own process, your own framework, um, what were some of the challenges during that time? I know it sounded yeah. to me like, I mean, I can conclude one is like, you're working full-time jobs and developing your frameworks. So that's a, a challenge of time. But was there anything else that you remember during that time? Yeah, and you're so right. Like um, funding, when you have a mission-based organization, funding is critical because without funding, I can't quit my full-time job. So how many families can I really help? Um, without funding, Paul can't quit his, we can't get a, a VA who knows like, you know, click funnels or whatever we're working on. Like you need a team if you're going to serve more than six people, right? Like you need to be able to grow. Um, and in order to do that, Paul and I needed some skill sets that we didn't possess. Um, yes, you know, I used to wonder like, why me? Why do I know how, why is there no such relationship that I can't like seem to solve? Or why have we been blessed with this? And then of course I realized my whole journey was so that I would go out and teach, right? Um, but that did not come with, I don't know anything about business and I don't really know anything about marketing. So now what? And that was really my stopping point, which is like Paul has, and I have figured out our system. We built, you know, hundreds of tools in our toolbox that real families can pick up and actually use like one person can use to transform any relationship. We had that and it's kind of like sitting there. It's like, okay, we have this. Anybody want it? I don't know where they are. Like <laughs> that was really the stopping point. And I think that, um, the lesson that I learned that I really hope can benefit somebody who might be watching this conversation today is we uh, tried a lot of things that mm. didn't work. Mm. And with very little resources, when you try a lot of things that don't work, mm. um, I've seen that shut people down, right? I mean, how many times can you tell yourself, maybe I should just go back and get a job. Maybe mm. I should, I don't know if I can pull something out of our savings account because mm like nobody's getting paid, this thing didn't work. And mm -hmm. we did that for a while. Mm -hmm. And honestly, Brian, if it was about us and, and money, like there, it wasn't, there wasn't any. So I would have been like, hey, let's like, you know, sell real estate or something because this is just not really gonna work <laughs> out. But because it was a mission, because it was my calling, because it was my unique brilliance, because I know that the people working in relationship that are actually getting messages out there are telling people to do a lot of stuff that actually backfires. And there's families on the other end of that, that yeah. what's our divorce rate? Like 50 to 60% right now? Yeah. Um, that's because there's no solution and people would totally solve things if they had the tools. Sure. Um, that propelled me to go forward and it was actually, um, finding someone who could actually teach us how to market, how to reach that mom or that dad that's at home searching for like, how do I turn this around? How do I save my marriage from the edge? How do I, you know, help my kids develop? Like, how can I transform my relationship? How can I bring the passion back to a good relationship? I really like my partner, but I don't know if I love them. Like, how do we find those folks? And it was through uh, more self-education of digging in and becoming a student of phenomenal marketing education and business education that we learned how to take Paul and I, we have a solution to we've now helped thousands of people around the world to save their marriages. We have a, a relationship you program that has a 1% divorce rate over the last six years of helping people and a 99% success rate, which is un heard of like yeah. that would never happen if we couldn't tell them we were here. I don't know those people personally. They don't live next door to me. It's through the message. It's mm -hmm. through the marketing. It's through the business. It's through the systems. It's through me becoming a student of that, 
that we were able to grow this mission-based organization so that we can change the way relationship is done. That's awesome. What would you say are like three like juicy tips um, on how you, what you learned on your journey? Because I, I know that a lot of things like you tried didn't work. There were some things that did, but eventually you cracked the code. You've impacted thousands and thousands of people's lives. So, and the, and the ripple effect that is amazing. Like just think about the kids that are impacted by that and then their future generate. I mean, it's like insane. It's amazing, right? Um, yeah. That's why we do this. That's why we do everything that we do is because of the ripple effect of the impact, right? And, but what was like, what are three that kind of juicy tips would you say? I would I just want to, I don't want to, um, I'll put any words in your mouth. So I want you to like kind of pull from your experience of what was th like three big tips on your journey, because you went through a lot of stuff where it didn't work. You, you did a lot of trial and error, yep. but if, 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 if you were in your shoes from the beginning, like you just developed all your frameworks and you're ready to bring it out to more people, what would you wish you would have known? Uh, Three things and three things exactly. Nice. One, mentor. Mm. Don't try to figure this out yourself. Mm -hmm. Find the mentor mm -hmm. that has done this, mm -hmm. done it successfully for themselves, but way more than that. Um, it's helped loads of other people do it too. Because some people can totally get a result for themselves, but they don't know how to teach it to anybody else. Like it took Paul and I quite a while to figure out, okay, how do we teach this? Um, and most people would think you couldn't, but you can, you really can, um, which is why it's our moral obligation to put what we know into something trainable. Uh, find the mentor who's taught others and others have actually gotten the same result that the mentor did many times over. I'll give you another little tip about picking a mentor mm -hmm. please try to pick the mentor who is seven or eight levels mm -hmm. above the level you want to go to next because what happens is when they're only one or two levels beyond where you want to be mm -hmm. uh, you get there quickly and then your new problems scare the crap out of them because they haven't navigated that yet either so right. please search that mentor who's seven or eight levels uh, beyond you which is why I listen to people like you Brian Delaney because uh, such 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 an amazing mentor for me so pick the mentor then pick the tribe because honestly, if you don't have a tribe of people who understand the journey that you're on, who get that, who are at different levels, like we're all on the same mountain, we're all climbing the same mountain. I may be here on this, I may be here on this, but when you surround yourself with a tribe, there's always somebody when you reach that moment, right? We just talked about that quality question a moment ago. When you reach that moment where you're like, ooh, who else has solved this one? If you're in the right tribe, somebody there has like oh i went through that four months ago reach out to me here's what i did here's my script here's who i use blah 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 you need that tribe surrounding you because if you don't have it there's a lot of chit chat from the right and the left in this world of people who are like why don't you just get a job what are you doing that for this is never going to work and that's not what you need in order to break through you need the tribe so one mentor two tribe and three having that resourcefulness of knowing it's not about you it's about the people who are waiting for you if you ever get yourself tripped up into being stuck i promise you that you've slipped back into i'm scared i'm worried this isn't working for me i don't know if i can do this all of those i statements you're making it about you and there's only so far you're going to go for yourself but when you flip the switch and you're like it's for them there are people who need this I there are families who deserve this. I actually think every single family deserves this. It blows my mind we never get a real relationship education. What could be more important to this? So I am on a mission to make sure that every human on the planet gets a real relationship education because everybody deserves that. That kind of makes me unstoppable because I, I will stop at nothing. This is literally what I do all day, every day. This is all I'm ever going to do. This is the mission, and we're passing the legacy forward for when we're not here anymore, so it, our children won't have to suffer this way. Like when it's like that, you'll find a way. So those are the three things: mentor, tribe, make it about them, not about you. I love that. And I think the tribe, would you say that that tribe for you has been like masterminds? Because I know that's yeah, where absolutely. we met. Absolutely. A, yeah. a thousand percent that's my tribe so right now we're in an inner circle like we're in a mastermind together mm -hmm. and uh it has changes my life every single day i've already been through four different voxers this morning from people inside 
our mastermind, one who's doing an event who needs my help because we do events, one who's helping me because we have team struggles right now that we're expanding and they did it already. So it's about giving, paying it forward. Hey, I've done events, let me help you. And it's about, hey, we're struggling to expand our client care team. I know you did this, can you help me? And so that mastermind, that's my core. In our group, we've created our relationship you program. They're a tribe, they're all doing it. They love on each other and help and support each other all day, every single day. Our tribe of relationship transformers all around the world. And so whether whatever it is, I have created a tribe, I'm in a tribe, and it is, for me, it has been mastermind groups. Like, that's me. I, I have my inner circle group for me, my business, and we've created our Relationship Transformer Mastermind Tribe for our people who are doing this transformation work. That's where it's at. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much. That was good. I, the same thing for me on my journey, right? It was my first mentor. I had the realization that I was never going to get my second degree black belt in Taekwondo by watching YouTube videos. Like that's ridiculous. Right. <laughs> so my mentor like pff, skyrocketed my, me on my journey. And he was like, you said, he was light years ahead of where I was. Amen. Like, that's I was what you, want. you want that. Right. I mean, he was yeah. doing, you know, he was doing really well for himself and his family and, and you, you don't want someone that's just a couple steps ahead of you because you'll quickly find that you can surpass them. Right. Yes. So that's a key. I, I've never, uh, in all of the interviews that I've done yet, I haven't heard anyone kind of speak to that perspective, but I've heard it come up time and time again, again where someone will pass their mentor, right? And it's like, it, it's common in, in, in people that are just starting on being mentors. I, I actually have heard that. And then the second thing was like, who are you surrounding yourself with? Like, who is the tribe of people that are in your corner helping you on the journey? Right? Absolutely. And that's like the whole concept of mastermind. And I think, you know, Napoleon Hill is a, you know, really the one who originated the concept, right? Way back in the day. So this yes, isn't a new concept. Mastermind. So the whole mastermind concept came from really from him. Um, but I look at like, that's where we met. We met in a mastermind, right? Yep. And it's like every single time, you know, from those experiences, we leave with new wisdom. We live mm -hmm. with new what's working, what's not working. Mm -hmm. We leave with a new level of confidence. Cause like, okay, if they did that, I'm going to go do it too, right? So it's like a belief thing too as well. At least I know it is for me. It's like there's like a new level of confidence and excitement and then you're able to come back and then like charge again. Because, you know, as entrepreneurs, a lot of times we're out there, you know, doing things on our own or with our own teams. And it's really nice to come and like be a part of something that's bigger than you. A hundred percent. In fact, before we started recording this, what was the thing you asked me? Like, when's our next mastermind? What's yeah. the date? How do I, I'm going to change my tickets. Like this is the priority because we know this is what propels us forward. Exactly. So thank you so much, Stacey. I know it's coming up on the hour. So where can people learn more about you? I'd love for them to get connected to you because you're doing some amazing things in the world. That's awesome. Check out our Relationship Transformers podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts and you can find us at relationshipdevelopment.org. All right, guys. Now, how good was that? Stacy dropped some bombs, and I hope you caught what she shared with you because she's bringing a lot of wisdom to the table. And if you just take some of that wisdom, the biggest thing is to immerse yourself in whatever, wherever it is that you're learning, whether it's how to turn your knowledge, your expertise into something that can bless others and bless you, right? Putting into a, uh, into a framework, putting it into a process. You know, the great thing about technology today is that it doesn't have to take you two years to do it. Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi have a brand new course coming out and they have created software to help you extract your superpower, your knowledge, your wisdom, your expertise. And the world didn't have that years ago when Stacy had first you know, started on her path or even when I had started on my path, right? I wish I had access to the, the technology that Tony and Dean have created and they're launching to the world. So uh, let's talk about that for a second. Tony and Dean are launching the 2.0 version of their new course and new software, Knowledge Broker Blueprint, Mind Mint software, and it's coming out on February 27th, and then they're gonna close the doors because it's a big product launch on March 9th at midnight. I would encourage you to, to go all in. I would encourage you, if you have an expertise that you wanna help others with, if you have wisdom or knowledge that you believe can help other people, if you have a mess that you want to turn into a message to save other people's lives, kind of like Stacy, right? She went through a, tif a difficult you know, uh, time with her relationship with her husband, Paul, and then she went deep to figure out how to, make the, how to make it right and how to make it work. 
and then she, she worked on herself. She produced results for herself and her, her own marriage. And then other people started asking her, hey, can you help me as well? And then eventually, right, Paul had the realization that there are more families that need to go through that process. And then she took two years to develop all that process. So if you have knowledge, you have skill, you have wisdom, you have something that you believe can bless someone else's life from your experience. I think we all have lessons that we learn in life that can help other people on their journey and help them avoid those roadblocks and those pitfalls. And that's really important. You can both make a great income and you can make a great impact. And those two, they got to be married together. You've got to have income and income and impact married. You know, when I first started, I was so concerned about, you know, paying off my student loans. I was so concerned about providing food on the table that money was the only thing that was like pulling me into this world. And then as I realized, as on my journey, I realized that I'm in my soul's purpose because I'm helping people share their story, their expertise, their wisdom, and their knowledge, and getting it out to more people creates a ripple effect like Stacy talked about today. So here's what I would encourage you to do next. I would encourage you to take notes of everything that Stacy had to say and go and do it. Like immerse yourself in learning the skills that you need to bring your expertise, your knowledge, your wisdom to the world in a bigger way. Find a mentor, join a mastermind, Find another group of people that can be your tribe, your, your biggest fans. They'll support you, they'll lift you up when things get tough and help you overcome hurdles, right? For me, those two things are what really moved the needle for me. It was, a, it was my first mentor and then it was my masterminds that I've been in over and over and over again. That's why I continue to be a part of high level masterminds because I always wanna sharpen my sword, all right? The Bible says iron sharpens iron, right? You can't do that if you're not around other iron, right? That's the power of a mastermind. So I would encourage you, register for Tony Robbins and Negraciosis. They have a live training you don't wanna miss. It's on February 27th. These guys are gonna be live. There's gonna be hundreds of thousands of people from all over the world on live. Don't miss an opportunity to learn from Tony and Dean because they're only doing this once this year and then they won't come back on for another year. Okay, they're going to talk about the self-education industry. They're going to talk about how to turn your knowledge into a business that you love, uh, that blesses you and blesses others. And they're going to talk about how to ride this wave of the self-education industry that's set to triple to an astronomical level. So don't miss out on that training. You can go to kbbmastermindbonus.com and you can see all the steps. It's real simple. There's a link to get registered for their training. Once you get registered for their training, just know this. At the end of them providing amazing value, and, and after they get to the point where they share a lot of stuff with you, they're gonna give you an opportunity to join their new course. Last year, you should know this, last year they had over 24,000 people enroll in their course, and now they have over 1,000 documented wins. Okay, they have people from 150 different countries, there's over 2,000 different niches that people are turning their knowledge into a business, uh, there's over 150,000 comments in the Facebook group every single month, people asking questions and getting supported. I mean, Tony and Dean have, have, have truly created a movement of knowledge brokers. That's what they're calling it. And I'm involved in it. That's why we're supporting Tony and Dean because we believe that self-education should be the new norm, right? We believe that the world is voting with who they want to learn from, people that have specialized knowledge, and that's where you come in. Or someone that you know. You can maybe help someone else who has knowledge, wisdom, and experience. So you don't necessarily have to have all the knowledge and all the wisdom and all the experience. You just have to, you have to just be one step in front of the other person who's learning from you. Or you align and partner with someone who has a lot of knowledge, wisdom, and expertise, and then you can do all the work for them. Okay, so there's a couple different paths. But they're gonna make an offer to join their course. It's the best course in the world. I've been through it. Okay, I'm going through it again this year just to, ha to, to, to help take people through the journey of implementing what they learn. And that's part of what we put together in our bonus package. So we've created an amazing bonus package. Uh, what others are saying is the best bonus package out there for KBB and for MindMint. And so I would encourage you, if you're going to get their course, you might as well get all of our stuff for free. Okay, we're an affiliate partner with Tony and Dean. We supported them last year and we're supporting them again this year because we believe in their mission, we believe in what they're doing, and they're producing results. And that, my friend, is what matters. What matters to us is not only the income that's made from it, it's the impact. And then it's the ripple effect, like we talked about with Stacy, right? Like she, her program that her and her husband have created is saving marriages. And that has a ripple effect on the kids that are being impacted by 
their parents going through those programs, right? And, the, and her live events and her workshops and her, and her high level groups, like without the parents going through those, without her creating it and getting it out to the world, families would not have been saved, okay? And so this is why this matters to us so much. It's about the ripple effect. It's about the, the impact that you can make, but it's also about the, the impact that others are gonna make by being blessed by your message, by being blessed by your wisdom, by being blessed by your knowledge, your skills, whatever it, your expertise is, other people will be blessed by it and it'll create a ripple effect and that's how we impact a billion people. God gave me a vision to, that, that I will impact a billion people in my life and I believe I won't do it alone, but I'll do it by helping people like you on your path, on your journey to share your story, to make a greater income and to make a greater impact in the process. That's how we'll collectively impact a billion people's lives. Okay, if you have any questions, please reach out, drop a comment, drop a question. You can email us, you can call our team. We have a team of more than 20 people behind the scenes to support you on this journey of bringing your knowledge to the world in a bigger way.